Hello everybody, this is Muzaffar and welcome to the second video on how to use OpenAI's ChatGPT3 in VS Code. In this video, I will go through all the features of uh, Code GPT extension in VS Code. Before we proceed, uh, make sure you have Code GPT extension installed in VS Code and that you have uh, an account uh, with OpenAI. Additionally, uh, please ensure that you have set API key in Core GPT. In part one, I covered this topic. So make sure you have watched uh, it before uh, continuing with this video. I will also add it in the video description below. So the video I was referring to is um, in my YouTube channel. So if you go to YouTube slash motherfucker slash videos you should be able to find it here uh, this is the one uh, it ends with part one uh, if you are not finding it here then go to playlists and if you go to open ai playlist you will see the video here right this is the one and uh, you must watch it before continuing with uh, this video right So let's just start with uh, get code feature and with this feature uh, you can request code in a comment and you will get the code in suggestion mode. So let's go back to the uh, VS code and I have a uh, code GPT extension already set up here. So uh, and uh, the API key is already set so I can just go to the python.py uh, file again and here in a comment i can uh, you know write something and i can get the code for it in uh, suggestion mode right so let's try to generate a code for validating an email so validate an email with regex right so uh, yeah a few things to consider here uh, this should be a comment uh, in whichever language you are generating this uh, for me it is python file so the comment start with uh, hash and uh, make sure you put the cursor at the end otherwise it will just consider the first part right so let's validate this concern as well uh, i remove the comment part and if i try to do uh, shift command i then i will just get an error right so let's add the comment and then i can press shift command and i and this time it is uh, processing and finally i got the code to validate an email using regex so yeah let's remove this Let's try another feature called Ask GPT, and with this feature, uh, we will be able to, you know, ask anything from Chat GPT. So let's head over to VS Code, and in here we can right-click and select Ask GPT, Ask uh, Code GPT, and another way is uh, let's do Command Shift T, and here. We can also select the uh, ask uh, code GPT. If it is not there, you can write code GPT and then you will be able to find it. So let's do it from uh, context menu. And here uh, we can ask it something. So you see it is already asking for a question. So uh, let's ask it something. Uh, solve. Delete to some problem in Python. Let's see what happens. So you see, I got the solution for to some problem in uh, lead, uh, lead code. So let's uh, close this and try something else. Like in previous video, I uh, did some exercise on this one. Let's try to do something else. Uh, let's right click and ask GPT again. And here, uh, 
let's ask it uh, something like uh, what is the tree I think I asked that already builder design patron So this, this, with this feature, we basically ask something to JetGPT and uh, CodeGPT and it will respond back, right? So let me close this. Let's try something else with the ask GPT. So let me write some comment. Uh, let's ask it something first. So in ask, so so let's get the code okay we got solution here i don't care about uh, its contents for now so yeah let's uh, paste this code here and oh yeah we are from it because I am in the Python. So I will read codes to some problem in Python. So let's wait for it. I got it. Again, I don't care about its implementation detail. So let's close this and paste it here. And now uh, let's try the uh, Ask GPT feature again uh, with a code selected. So we can select the a code and then right click and select Ask GPT again. And you see uh, now we are getting like more uh, features here. We can uh, explain the code uh, with code GPT, refactor, document we can do many things here right uh, if you are happy with these options you can go with them otherwise uh, you can always come to ask gpt and it will tell you uh, like here you can add any custom uh, suggestion comment whatever you want about this one and you will get the response in uh, the right side window right so uh, in my case, I just want to do explain code GPT, explain code GPT. So I could have written in ask code GPT as well, but let's use it from here. So from here, we got the explanation. So this code is solution. Yeah, you get the picture, right? So let's close it. Remove all of these. Among other uh, options there, let's try the specific one. I think that saves a lot of effort, right? So let's select the code again and right click and you see we can find problem here in this code and we can even document it, uh, refactor it, but uh, this is what I'm interested in. So if you click on unit test uh, code GPT, you will basically get unit test for this uh, function. I think this is uh, like uh, useful and you will end up saving a lot of time with this uh, feature. So let's close it. Let's test another feature uh, called Ask Stack Overflow. So uh, with this feature what you are able to do is uh, you can compare uh, code GPT's uh, answer with uh, some answer from stack overflow like a uh, human answer right so uh, let's press shift uh, command and p then you can write ask stack overflow so let's click in here and let's write any question right so for me i'm just writing python here but you can write whole question here and then you will end up uh, you know getting answer from uh, code gpt as well as uh, an accepted answer from stack overflow so you can compare them later right so let's write python 
and with this i would get like most of the questions here so like uh, if you wrote a question uh, you won't have to select a lot you you won't see a lot of things here but for me i just wrote python so i'm seeing a lot here right so let me select this one and uh, with this one i should be able to get the answer from stack overflow this is the accepted answer for my question and if you scroll down you will see an answer from uh, code gpt as well right? so this will be helpful a lot because uh, it saves uh, your time because it shows uh, the accepted answer uh, which is best uh, like considered best maybe because of voting or something maybe accepted answer and also uh, you are able to compare them uh, like uh, code gpt's answer and the stack overflow's answer in you know a single file so yeah let's close this With that, I think uh, we have completed uh, testing all the features. One thing that I, which I did not try in last video as well, uh, was removing the API key. So if you press Command Shift P uh, and write Code GPT, you will see an option Remove API key. So this option uh, is the one I used to set the API key, and this we can use to remove it. So let's try to remove it it has been removed now if we try something like do uh, some problem and press command shift i we won't get anything because it is asking for the key now so yeah let's remove things and yeah i think with this uh, we have uh, covered everything in code gpt let me know if you think we have missed out something uh, i will try to cover it in the next video if that is the case all right so that's about it for this video be sure to leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and i'll see you in next video